This is a depth gauge. Probably one of the most common things to use with this is to check the tire tread. I also do a lot of 3D printing, so this comes in handy when you're trying to make models and you need to measure the depth of something. The measuring gauge comes like this, so you do have a battery that you'll need to install. Open the battery compartment like this, then place the battery in, close it up, and you're good to go. Simple on and off button. You can change it from inches to millimeters, and you can press this to set it to zero. This is the chart that I like to use because it does have millimeters. Basically, the only thing you need to remember is anything about four and above, you're good to go. Anything less than three, then you need to start checking regularly. So to use this, after you turn it on, what you want to do is you want to just kind of push it into the tire, a part that doesn't have any tread, and then you'll set it to zero. And then you can just stick this out all the way and then go ahead and push it in where the tread is. 2.52 millimeters. Let's see how my rear tires are doing. A bit better at 3.27. This was sent to me so I could make this video. The main thing that's really nice about this is it's kind of multi-purpose. You can get a lot more depth from this than you can your standard tire gauge. You can see this is far longer than all tire tread. The main disadvantage is it's not really as simple as something like this where it has kind of the measurements right on it. You kind of need to know what measurement that you should be using. For me, I just know four millimeters and above is good, anything less than three, and I need to start being careful and checking regularly. Another nice thing about this is it does automatically shut off, so if you don't use it for a while, it will turn off on its own so that you're not wasting battery. I like this though because I can also use this for my 3D printing, so all around, this is great, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.